Introduction Title Understanding Polycystic Ovary Syndrome, PCOS, A Comprehensive Guide Opening Shot of a Medical Lecture Room Filled with Attentive Students Professor Good Morning, Class Today, we will be diving into the intricate world of polycystic ovary syndrome, a complex endocrine disorder that affects millions of women worldwide. In this comprehensive guide, we will explore the hormonal dysregulation, pathophysiology, diagnostic criteria, clinical manifestations, metabolic disturbances, long-term health implications, treatment options, fertility issues, psychosocial impact, surgical interventions, alternative therapies, and coexisting medical conditions associated with PCOS. Let's begin. Camera transitions to first topic, hormonal dysregulation in PCOS. Professor, to understand the intricate web of mechanisms behind PCOS, we must first explore the hormonal dysregulation at play. PCOS is characterized by hyperandrogenism, meaning increased levels of male hormones such as testosterone. Additionally, there is a disruption in the normal feedback loop involving the hypothalamic pituitary ovarian axis, leading to irregular menstrual cycles and an ovulation. Insulin resistance also plays a significant role, contributing to hyperinsulinemia and further exacerbating the hormonal imbalances. Now, let's delve deeper into the pathophysiology behind PCOS. Camera transitions to second topic, pathophysiology of PCOS. Professor, the pathophysiology of PCOS involves a complex interplay of genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors. Genetic predisposition is believed to play a significant role, with multiple gene variants identified to have associations with PCOS. Environmental factors, such as exposure to endocrine-disrupting chemicals, may also contribute to the development of PCOS. Lifestyle factors, including sedentary behavior, unhealthy dietary patterns, and stress, further amplify the manifestations of PCOS. Now, let's move on to understanding how PCOS is diagnosed. Camera transitions to third topic, diagnostic criteria for PCOS. Professor, diagnosing PCOS can be challenging due to its heterogeneous nature. The Rotterdam criteria, which include the presence of two out of three features, oligoovulation slash anovulation, clinical and or biochemical signs of hyperandrogenism, and polycystic ovarian morphology on ultrasound, are commonly used to diagnose PCOS. However, it's important to consider other differential diagnoses and rule out related conditions such as thyroid dysfunction and adrenal disorders. Let's now explore the clinical manifestations and symptoms of PCOS. Camera transitions to fourth topic, clinical manifestations and symptoms. Professor, PCOS presents with a wide range of clinical manifestations and symptoms, which can vary between individuals. Common manifestations include irregular menstrual cycles, hirsutism, excessive hair growth, acne, and male pattern baldness. PCOS also increases the risk of developing metabolic syndrome, which is characterized by abdominal obesity, insulin resistance, dyslipidemia, and hypertension. Moreover, PCOS is associated with psychological distress, including anxiety, depression, and decreased quality of life. Now, let's shift our focus to the metabolic disturbances seen in PCOS. Camera transitions to fifth topic, metabolic disturbances in PCOS. Professor, metabolic disturbances in PCOS are intricately linked to insulin resistance and hyperinsulinemia. Insulin resistance not only increases the risk of type 2 diabetes but also contributes to dyslipidemia and cardiovascular disease. Additionally, adipose tissue dysfunction and chronic low-grade inflammation further aggravate the metabolic profile of individuals with PCOS. Let's now look at the long-term health implications associated with PCOS. Camera transitions to sixth topic, long-term health implications. Professor, PCOS is not just a reproductive disorder but also has long-term health implications. Women with PCOS are at a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, endometrial hyperplasia, and even certain types of cancer. Given these risks, it is imperative to address PCOS comprehensively and consider appropriate treatment options. Speaking of which, let's delve into the available treatment options for PCOS. Camera transitions to seventh topic, treatment options. Professor, the management of PCOS aims to alleviate the symptoms, minimize long-term health risks, and improve quality of life. Lifestyle modifications, including regular exercise, a balanced diet, and weight management, form the cornerstone of the treatment. Additionally, pharmacological interventions, such as oral contraceptive pills, anti-androgens, and insulin sensitizing agents, are often prescribed to target specific manifestations of PCOS. Moreover, addressing psychological and emotional well-being is essential in the overall management of PCOS. Moving forward, let's discuss the fertility issues and assisted reproductive techniques associated with PCOS. 
Camera transitions to eighth topic, fertility issues and assisted reproduction. Professor, infertility is a significant concern for women with PCOS due to an ovulation or irregular ovulation. Assisted reproductive techniques, such as ovulation induction with medications like clomiphene citrate, gonadotropin administration, and in vitro fertilization, IVF, are common strategies employed to enhance fertility. However, it's essential to consider potential risks, such as ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, and individualized treatment approaches. Now, let's explore the psychosocial impact of PCOS. Camera transitions to ninth topic, psychosocial impact. Professor, PCOS can have profound psychosocial implications for women. The physical manifestations, hormonal imbalances, and fertility concerns associated with PCOS often lead to body image issues, decreased self-esteem, anxiety, and depression. Providing holistic care and support, including psychological counseling and support groups, plays a vital role in improving the overall well-being of individuals with PCOS. Now, let's move on to surgical interventions for PCOS. Camera transitions to 10th topic, surgical interventions. Professor, surgical interventions are considered in specific cases when conservative measures fail to yield the desired outcomes. Ovarian drilling, a laparoscopic procedure involving puncturing the ovaries with electrocautery, can restore ovulation in some individuals. Bariatric surgery may also be considered in cases where PCOS is compounded by severe obesity. However, the risks and benefits need to be thoroughly assessed on a case-by-case -case basis. Now, let's explore the realm of alternative therapies and complementary medicine for PCOS. Camera transitions to 11th topic, alternative therapies and complementary medicine. Professor, alternative therapies and complementary medicine have gained popularity among individuals with PCOS as adjunctive strategies. Herbal supplements, acupuncture, and dietary modifications, such as adopting a low glycemic index diet, are often explored. While many anecdotal reports suggest some benefits, the evidence for their efficacy and safety remains limited. It is crucial to approach these interventions cautiously and in consultation with healthcare professionals. Now, let's shed light on the coexisting medical conditions commonly seen in individuals with PCOS. Camera transitions to 12th topic, PCOS and coexisting medical conditions. Professor, PCOS shares common risk factors and associations with various medical conditions, including metabolic syndrome, cardiovascular disease, sleep apnea, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, depression, and anxiety disorders. Recognizing and addressing these coexisting conditions is essential for comprehensive management of PCOS. Camera transitions to conclusion. Professor, Polycystic ovary syndrome is a complex endocrine disorder that intricately intertwines hormonal dysregulation, metabolic disturbances, reproductive challenges, and psychosocial implications. Through this comprehensive guide, we have explored the various facets of PCOS, from its pathophysiology and diagnostic criteria to treatment options, fertility considerations, and associated medical conditions. By gaining a deeper understanding, Healthcare professionals can approach the management of PCOS holistically, emphasizing personalized care and empowering women to live their lives to the fullest. Thank you for joining me on this enlightening journey.